Now open your question paper and look at part 1. There are seven questions in this part. You will hear people talking in seven different situations. For question 1 to 7, choose the correct answer A, B, or C. You will hear each recording twice. Answer all the questions. You now have 20 seconds to look at the question. Look at question 1. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. Dear Diary, Why don't everyone understand me? I said it plain and simple. I am not wasting my time. They still lecture me. They keep telling me to read books. But I do read. I read various books from different genres and authors. I bring those books with me everywhere I go. Besides, my ebooks are less expensive than paperback. And they can help save the trees. My mom and my dad just don't get me. Now, listen again. Dear Diary, Why don't everyone understand me? I said it plain and simple. I am not wasting my time. They still lecture me. They keep telling me to read books. But I do read. I read various books from different genres and authors. I bring those books with me everywhere I go. Besides, my ebooks are less expensive than paperback. And they can help save the trees. My mom and my dad just don't get me. Look at question 2. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome on board Flight 4B7 with service from Kuala Lumpur to San Francisco. We are currently third in line for takeoff and are expected to be in the air in approximately 7 minutes time. We ask that you please fasten your seatbelts at this time and secure all baggage underneath your seat or in the overhead compartments. We also ask that your seats and table trays are in the upright position for takeoff. Please turn off all personal electronic devices, including laptops and cell phones. Smoking is prohibited for the duration of the flight. Thank you for choosing Malaysian Airlines. Now, listen again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board Flight 4B7 with service from Kuala Lumpur to San Francisco. We are currently third in line for takeoff and are expected to be in the air in approximately 7 minutes time. We ask that you please fasten your seatbelts at this time and secure all baggage underneath your seat or in the overhead compartments. We also ask that your seats and table trays are in the upright position for takeoff. Please turn off all personal electronic devices, including laptops and cell phones. Smoking is prohibited for the duration of the flight. Thank you for choosing Malaysian Airlines. Look at question 3. Now, we are ready to start. Hello everyone. Did you know that 98% of children 8 years old and younger have access to some sort of smart mobile device at home? Or that 89% of teens have their own smartphone? It's time to meet them where they are. We are looking for volunteers to help us during our Be Internet Awesome Family Workshop, sponsored by Google at 8.30am on November 21, 2022 at MK Hall. We want to help the students stay safe online and hope that you can help by volunteering your time to make this event a success. Now, listen again. Hello everyone. Did you know that 98% of children 8 years old and younger have access to some sort of smart mobile device at home? Or that 89% of teens have their own smartphone? It's time to meet them where they are. We are looking for volunteers to help us during our Be Internet Awesome Family Workshop, sponsored by Google at 8.30am on November 21, 2022 at MK Hall. We want to help the students stay safe online and hope that you can help by volunteering your time to make this event a success. Look at question 4. Listen carefully. Hey Marissa. You are looking so much happy. Something good is going on? Yeah, Tamim, you are right. I am so much happy now. Actually, I was talking with my father about my aim in life. That's why I am so happy now. So you were talking about your choice of career in the future, right? 
Yes, I was. I want to become a doctor. From my childhood, I wanted to become one. I talked with my dad today about it and he has inspired me a lot. That's very good, but why do you want to become a doctor? I want to serve the poor people. Actually, I am from a village and I have seen lot of people not getting enough treatment and they are dying without medicine and proper treatment. I want to serve people like them. Wow. That is very good. I really hope you will be able to achieve it one day. Thank you Tamim. Now listen again. Hey Marissa. You are looking so much happy. Something good is going on? Yeah, Tamim, you are right. I am so much happy now. Actually, I was talking with my father about my aim in life. That's why I am so happy now. So you were talking about your choice of career in the future, right? Yes, I was. I want to become a doctor. From my childhood, I wanted to become one. I talked with my dad today about it and he has inspired me a lot. That's very good, but why do you want to become a doctor? I want to serve the poor people. Actually, I am from a village and I have seen lot of people not getting enough treatment and they are dying without medicine and proper treatment. I want to serve people like them. Wow. That is very good. I really hope you will be able to achieve it one day. Thank you Tamim. Look at question 5. Hello Mr. John. I have a few questions I want to ask you. My first question is why do you want this job? I've researched the job and found that my skills and interests really fit the role. I'm good at planning and organizing. I have great attention to detail and would like to learn new skills. I think I'd be a great match for your company. All right. For your next question, what are you looking for in a job? Well, I'm looking for a job where I can work as part of a team and learn from others. And I'll be happy that I've pushed myself to do something new. We will be working around the clock here, so can you tell me about a time when you had to do lots of things at once? Yes sure. I do some things after school like tennis and had a lot of coursework to finish off by the end of the term as well. I marked my calendar with all of my tennis practices and plans I had made with friends, and I made a list of everything I had to finish off. I could see what was most important and when I'd have to get things finished in order to get everything done on time. Keeping to the list helped as I could tick things off when they were completed. Now listen again. Hello Mr. John. I have a few questions I want to ask you. My first question is why do you want this job? I've researched the job and found that my skills and interests really fit the role. I'm good at planning and organizing. I have great attention to detail and would like to learn new skills. I think I'd be a great match for your company. All right. For your next question, what are you looking for in a job? Well, I'm looking for a job where I can work as part of a team and learn from others. And I'll be happy that I've pushed myself to do something new. We will be working around the clock here, so can you tell me about a time when you had to do lots of things at once? Yes sure. I do some things after school like tennis and had a lot of coursework to finish off by the end of the term as well. I marked my calendar with all of my tennis practices and plans I had made with friends, and I made a list of everything I had to finish off. I could see what was most important and when I'd have to get things finished in order to get everything done on time. Keeping to the list helped as I could tick things off when they were completed. Look at question 6. Beware of strangers online and those who pretend to be friends. People can be thoughtless, hurtful or even dangerous. Don't take the bait. You might get caught in the net. Think about it, surf safely as trouble could be just a click away. This message is brought by Youth Care and Radio Hits FM. Now listen again. Beware of strangers online and those who pretend to be friends. People can be thoughtless, hurtful or even dangerous. Don't take the bait, you might get caught in the net. Think about it, surf safely as trouble could be just a click away. This message is brought by Youth Care and Radio Hits FM. Look at question 7. Listen carefully. My computer isn't working. Can you help me find a new one? Sure. What kind of computer do you have? It was a laptop. I use it every day for work. May I ask what happened to it? I was at a coffee shop and some guy spilled his coffee on it. 
After that, it just wouldn't turn on anymore. Here are all of our newest laptops. Do you have any in mind? No, I just need one with a lot of memory space. We have one with one terabyte of space. Will that be enough? One terabyte should be plenty. How much? Six hundred dollars plus tax. Perfect. I'll take this one. Now listen again. My computer isn't working. Can you help me find a new one? Sure. What kind of computer do you have? It was a laptop. I use it every day for work. May I ask what happened to it? I was at a coffee shop, and some guy spilled his coffee on it. After that, it just wouldn't turn on anymore. Here are all of our newest laptops. Do you have any in mind? No, I just need one with a lot of memory space. We have one with one terabyte of space. Will that be enough? One terabyte should be plenty. How much? Six hundred dollars plus tax. Perfect. I'll take this one. That is the end of part one.